Hi everybody, it's Sagittarius998, Adam, and so many people are familiar with GeoGuessr, the retro version, because if you set up a GeoSetter challenge, you're going to be in retro GeoGuessr. However, some people are not familiar with the fact that you can go to GeoGuessr.com slash retro and still play the old version. Now, it has the street names, which is not good, um, movement is the same now, but the thing is, it's a different algorithm, so sometimes it's kind of fun. It's usually a lot of photospheres, but you can get some cool locations. Like, I got a blurry camera in Canada. You know, I, it's hard to, to get me excited about a blurry camera, but it's, it's not common that you find one in Canada. So, um, it, technically the town's already started, so we can start off. The HQ4103. This is Spain. HU perhaps being Huelva. Huelva. Um, I don't know, but you can you can see. Um, I see there, there's an advantage from this, but sometimes I don't know. I'll I'll play a few of these challenges today. Uh, no more than five because there's no way that I'll I'll be too tired of of playing them. Um, but there's a chance that. You need the deputacion, deputacion, or whatever it is. It's, eh, probably. I don't know. I should know, but I don't. Um, Hueva is down really far down south. Might be good to know. Um, 4103, there's a 3105. Is that, that's still it. So there's, that's the 50s. There's a 9000, so this, or this has the, uh, and there's a 9000 again, so. We, it's, uh, it's laid out approximately with the same, uh, style that, you know, U.S. Uh, state highways are. Um, well, that's just H. We need H-U, so that's not, there's H-U-4-100. Getting closer, but there's not that many of these roads in general. Like, and what's that one? That one's just unlabeled. Perhaps the one that we're on is also unlabeled. That's. Not a, uh, not a fun thought, because I don't want to spend that long on this. 4101. 4103, anybody? 4105, 4102. 4104, really? Really? I know 4103, it's probably going to be north, there we go. 4103, um, where? That's a fantastic question, but I don't have the answer to it. It might be kind of hard to pinpoint this, um, mainly because there's nothing here. Like, these roads are unlabeled. Like, there's a road. Great. It has no name, and it's really not a road, considering you have a fence right there. Um, so, I might just say, you know, we're 15 kilometers from the south of it. How long is this road? It goes all the way to Berocal. What's 15 kilometers, you think? Somewhere here, maybe? Why not? Let me guess. Four kilometers to the south. Yeah, like, you know, what? There's not... I, I, I mean, I guess I could have gone... I didn't see there was the HV5132. I could have gone there and I would have been able to figure out. Well, okay. Next time we're in Russia. No, we're not in Russia. We're on the 750 of Sweden. No, Finland also. I think last time Purple Frog in the stream saw that Finland also uses yellow. So perhaps we're in Finland. That makes more sense. I don't think Sweden has a 750. So, um, well, uh, so much for that direction. Let's go this way then. Hopefully we can go longer than, than three, you know, or one click. Well, dash lines are more common in Sweden than they are in Finland. So, the, there's that. But, we shall see. It's, um, you know, so, so as I was saying, yeah, I'll play about five of these challenges, probably. Um, no, today, no more than that. Depending on how I feel, maybe less than that. If I get tired of them, then I'll stop playing. Yeah, this is sort of just, uh... It's sometimes fun because it's really not fun anymore to uh, just do a random challenge in the in New Geo Guesser. 
but with this algorithm, uh, it cannot speak. Algorithm, um, it can be kind of fun in in this one, in the old GeoGuessr, so. I might, I'm going to do a few um, three level challenges though, since that's the new hot thing. Some people might be uh, sort of thinking, well, how do you do it? I mean, I know I already recorded one on here, but you can do more. Um, well, it looks very Swedish, but at the same time, to be fair, the 750s are going to be on the west coast of Finland, which has a big Swedish influence. It's one of the only bilingual areas still of Finland. So, the Swedish influence makes a lot of sense, actually. Lakatrask, 21. Well, the chances of this actually being uh, Finland are uh, pretty small. So let's go up north to Sweden. I didn't realize that, like... As I thought, you know, it ended at 300, like, what was this one called? It was Lakatrask? Lakatrask. The Trasks are, um, I know this, this, this is probably not true, like, at all. But, I noticed that there's usually a, a pattern, so like, there's, um, copings are here, like Norcoping, Linkoping, Soderkoping. And then Trasks, there's a part of Sweden that has all the Trasks, so I just need to find that, and then it's probably going to be there, maybe. If my, uh, like, Zval, Sundsval, Hodigsval, there's probably more Zvals here somewhere. Uh, like, there's no reason why this would be the case, but it kind of is, actually. If there's any Swedish viewers, you can maybe chime in. Uh, if this is actually a thing, like, do, do the endings matter maybe by province or something, or is it just, it happens to be this way, it's just a complete coincidence. So, I don't see any of the, uh, Trusks, so... We're, um... Gonna continue, there's... there's I don't know, okay. So let's, let's continue. The, the, the part that's <clears throat> the 750 intrigues me because I'm completely not used to that in Sweden. Sand trask, that's what I was saying. Like, we're, we're in the trask zone. Just where is that? We need to find that. And then, and then we're good. It's gotta be... It's up here somewhere. Like, not there. Umasio. Like off of one of these, I know there's a there's a trask. Like, it's just I don't know. I mean, how long am I gonna spend on this round? If I don't see any at this zoom level, I might just guess because. I don't want to make this too long, and I, what I suspect is that if I were to go, you know, the whole way, and and do, you know, un find until I find something, or go until I find something, it might be quite a while. This does not look like we're in an area that's, um, that's highly populated, just saying, so, um, I think... I think I'm going to go ahead and, I mean, there's, a, let's see, there's, it looks like there's one more sign over there, if, um, if I don't see anything, then I'm just gonna say, we're somewhere in northern Sweden, it's, it's really not, you know, we're playing for fun here, this isn't anybody's challenge specifically, and just going, 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 and going with the new movement is not what I consider to be fun. That was not a sign that was a house, but a house may be a sign of a town. Dergavatnet. It is a town. It's Granberget. I don't suspect that Granberget is very big. Um, from what I see of it so far, we're probably like, you know, this is probably the last house in Granberget. Like, we're, we're about to leave. But... What I am interested in is to figure out where this is going. Like, we saw that way we were going to, to whatever it was. 
something Trask. L something Trask. What's on this side? Like, can you not tell us? I, I suspect motorists might be interested. You know, just saying. Um, okay. Let's go. Can we click further, please? Well, wow. yeah, the new movement is not, it's not fun. There's, well, I don't think we're gonna, oh, here we go. We are gonna get something. Um, phone call, I'm not gonna answer that for now. Here we go. Bolden, Bolden, that's there. There's Bolden. Um, Bolden is here. Lakatras, Santrask, Bolden. South towards Bolden. Santrask, we are on this thing. Um, uh, Santrask, and then going, going northbound, we get. What? There's around the Trask. So we were somewhere in here, north of San Trask. I'm gonna say we were right there since there was a road to the left. Indeed, perfect score. Round three, Photosphere, with a New Mexico license plate. I got high altitude. Never mind. Serving Cloudcroft for 20 years. Well. Once as well, there's a new New Mexico plate. I suspect we are in Cloudcroft, New Mexico, on Chillum, Ch Conley, I don't know what that says. Cloudcroft, New Mexico, somewhere up in the north here. Um, Cañones, perhaps further north, New Mexico. Where's the, took away the green here for uh, Taos. This is where I would say it is, you know, right in the, the whole thing. Dallas Pueblo. Um, I don't see it. Let's check here. There's only a, a limited amount of um, spots that I would legitimately consider to have a ski village kind of thing in New Mexico. There's just not that much mountain overall. So... Cloudcroft. I mean, perhaps it's not Cloudcroft, like... We have one thing that's telling us Cloudcroft, which is this. I mean, I would think... Because the thing is, I feel like I've heard of Cloudcroft. Like, I've been there in, in GeoGuessr before, so... That's why it's making me, um... Think that that's the actual town name. If it was, it was along a state route. It's not that one not here, it's not Los Alamos, just like, straight up, it's not Los Alamos, let's just make sure it's not south, it's not in the Gila National Forest or something, Cloudcraft, nope, so it has to be up, up here by Taos, somewhere, just, where, Eagle Nest, Taos, Taos Pueblo, um, okay, well, your Grande Avenue. Um, I might just guess because you know it, it's probably going to be really obvious once I see it. But right now I don't see it, and I don't want to spend ages on a photosphere. So let's say we're by Taos. No, we were way down south. It, okay, I, I I'm pretty sure that's Miss. Um, that's uh, a misplaced photosphere. Let me, let's check where Cloudcraft is. Cloudcraft, New Mexico. It's off of 82 in Otero County. Where is that? It's by Alamo Gordo, and we were... Yeah, there's Cloudcraft. So yeah, it was mislabeled still. You know, so yeah, unfortunate. But, I mean, we wouldn't have gotten it anyway. But really, down... That far south for a, a ski, I guess it's not really a ski uh, place. Thought it would be a ski place, but no. We've got a golf course. It's just a resort. Yeah, that makes sense. Another photosphere. Uh, not not shocking, like I told you. There's tons of photospheres in, in 
the old retro movement, white plate with really high PNW style mountains. I'm gonna say BC. I'm gonna say BC, just you know, right around there, further north. We're on the highway twenty. Well, uh, provincial highway twenty, north of Atnarco. And last round, oh, it's another photosphere. Right. Uh, well, it's not loading yet. Looks like Germany though. Right now, if I had to guess, I would guess Germany. Got a church, Catholic, it looks like, or indeed. Can this load? Is this going to load? Is it not? No, it's not going to load. Between Würzburg, there we go, it loaded. Between Würzburg and Heilbronn. Heilbronn is 81. Würzburg. Würzburg and Heilbronn. There's Würzburg, there's Heilbronn. We are 8 kilometers from Rosenberg. 9 kilometers from Ahorn. Ahorn. There's Ahorn. We're 9 kilometers from this place. But 8 kilometers from Rosenberg. Um, what else is again? Rosenberg. So you think we're in um we're in Be whatever this place was, Bed Old Time? Gasthaus No what Zor Krone? That's not gonna help. I mean you think you know is there an exit there towards that? Like so there's Rosenberg I mean we could be in, in uh in Hirschlanden too. That way we would be, that makes sense, 8 and 9. Since otherwise we're, yeah, I think we're here actually. And then we're facing the road, we're facing north, that, that's not really where we are. Um, that's more like it, it curves around, perhaps even, no, well that, Something's off there, but I can't really place what it is. But this doesn't look, because this would be too close to, to Ahorn. Ahorn, whatever it is. And that way we, we're in the position where... But no, because this, this, this goes straight through, but at the same time there's one that curves up north. Which is intriguing. But it doesn't fit Hirschlanden. Is it somewhere up here in Altheim? That's oh, that's uh, Gerichstetten. So it's not. So maybe it's this place. Yeah, I think it is. And then that's the church. That looks like the church. So, I mean, well, it's a photosphere. Like, oh yeah, Kronenstrasse. Indeed. We are here. Five. I was about to say, well, it would be five thousand. Okay, we're not off the road. But yeah, it would be a five thousand point guess in New Geo Guess. That's pretty good for German photosphere. Um, yeah, I really wish Germany and Austria could get actual street view. It would be it would be really fun, but uh, alas, um, twenty four one oh seven is not great. It's not bad though. I mean, we did pretty well. New Mexico one was you know New Mexico and BC were pretty off, but then uh, we saw. I mean, we got the right province in both of them. We were about three hundred four hundred kilometers off, but perf almost perfect score on Germany. You know, perfect on Sweden. Off by like a hundred on on Spain being four kilometers off, it's pretty good. When you have three photospheres, twenty four one and seven is a good score. So probably going to continue, but I'm going to separate this one out into several videos on like the um, three uh, the no moving challenges. So well, part one, we're done. Till next time, see you.